Today's fellowship was awesome. I don't miss Sunday service, midweek service, I give my tithe and offering. I am a very faithful child of God. It is time for me to settle down. I need to get married. So many sisters in the fellowship are in a relationship and according to many of their testimonies, God showed them who their husbands were before being approached. God, you can do it for me too. I want you to show me my husband. I like Sister Annabelle's testimony in particular. God showed her her husband in the dream. He was in a different country. They never even met before. He only came for a business trip, met her accidentally at the airport and proposed to her immediately. They got married in two weeks and traveled together to his country after a month. They are happily married with six kids just in six years of marriage. They are in their sixth year of marriage. Does that mean she gives birth every year? Well, that is none of my business. I was watching Pastor Moses God's Time on TV recently. He also narrated how he saw his wife in the dream and how she also confirmed it. God either in my dream or any how you want to do it. Please show me my husband. This is the second time I am seeing Brother Donatus the choir leader in my dream. He held my hands in both dreams and prayed for me. I think God is showing me my husband. The first time I saw him in my dream, I was a bit confused then I heard the two shall become one. This rain is obviously another confirmation because rain signifies fruitfulness. I don't think I should tell him. I'll just wait for him to notice me. I hope he is not seeing any sister yet. Well, I believe God won't reveal him to me if he is in a relationship. Brother Donatus is actually a very handsome man with an angelic voice. I am sure the angels rise when he sings. Wow! So he is going to be my husband. I can already picture our beautiful family of five. I want just three children. Two girls and a boy. I think I should tell my friend Cynthia about this. The train seems empty, what is happening? I don't know. I am equally surprised. I am guessing there is a football match going on. And I'm guessing you are the referee. Caroline, what is that supposed to mean? Cynthia, what you are wearing is a referee's jersey. I don't know about any referee's jersey. I went to the boutique, it caught my attention, and I bought it. Anyway, I have a gist for you. What is that? I have found my husband. Oh. I didn't know he was lost. I didn't even know you were married. My husband is not lost in Jesus' name. Why are you so sarcastic? Oh, you didn't know when you asked if I was a referee. That was only a joke. I'm sorry. I'm also sorry. Which husband are you talking about? God showed me my husband in a dream. Really? Are you sure? Yes, I am very sure. Who is he? Is he someone I know? Yes. He is someone you know. His name is Donatus. Which Donatus? Because I know just one Donatus. It's the same Donatus. The one in the fellowship choir. You must be joking. What do you mean? Brother Donatus is engaged. It is not possible. He must be engaged to the wrong person. I am his wife. What nonsense are you saying? Caroline, please, wake up from your slumber. This brother is engaged to Sister Destiny. Which Destiny? The Destiny that sings soprano? Yes. That is not possible. I am his destined wife. That ugly girl is the person Bro Donatus wants to marry? That girl that looks like Broomstick. You know she is not fine at all. Caroline, I am not sure it's God that revealed him to you. God is not an author of confusion. You are not even helping or consoling. Please leave me alone. You are my friend, but I need to tell you the truth. He is not your husband. God will give you your own husband. If he is not my husband, why did I see him in my dream twice? I really can't answer that question. Brother Donatus must notice me today. I am the finest girl in our fellowship. How can he not notice me? How can he choose me over destiny that is as dark as midnight? Does that brother hear God at all? 
If he hears God, he should have known that destiny is not his wife. Hello, Brother Donatus. Hello, Sister Caroline. You don't have to add Sister. Caroline is fine. I add Sister to the name of every lady in this fellowship. I am okay calling you Sister Caroline. You are my sister in Christ. You sang really well today. You have an angelic voice. Thank you, Sister Caroline. I want to train my voice, because I feel God is calling me to join the choir. Can you help me? I am sorry, I need to be somewhere now. Okay, maybe next time. Hello dear, we need to see Pastor Steve now. Okay. I saw you speaking to Brother Donatus today. That brother does not like me at all, he didn't even notice me. While still speaking with him, Destiny came to interrupt our conversation. I also noticed that he is a liar. Did he lie to you? Yes. He said he adds sister to every lady's name, but he called Destiny dear. That is because Destiny is the lady he wants to marry. She is not every sister. Rubbish. Do you know that Brother Jasper likes you? Which Brother Jasper? Brother Jasper in Drama Unit. Drama Unit? I am in Bible study, prayer and evangelism unit together. I am already planning to also join the choir. People in units like Drama Unit, Children Unit, Sanctuary Keeping Unit, Media unit are not strong or serious Christians. Wow. So you've always seen me as unserious for being in sanctuary keeping unit. Well. It's okay God will give you your own man. I will like you to meet someone. I want you to speak with her concerning this issue. I know something similar happened to you while in the university. Okay thanks. God. This is the second time this is happening to me. Four years ago. You showed me this particular brother in the school fellowship. I waited for almost two years, this brother didn't say anything. What is happening? Is there something I am doing wrong? Am I not beautiful? I think I should see the person Cynthia spoke about next week. Hello. I am here to see Sister Eunice. From who please? From Cynthia. Are you Caroline? Yes I am. Are you Sister Eunice? Yes, I am. Wow. You look so young. Thanks. I hear that a lot. You can come in. Cynthia told me to see you. You are welcome. How can I help you? I prayed to God two different times to show me my husband. The first time I saw a particular brother. I was in school then. This brother didn't even talk to me once. I waited for almost two years. This brother later got engaged to someone else. The second one happened recently. This brother is the head of our fellowship choir. I saw him in my dreams twice. He even held my hands and prayed for me. I am tired. Is God lying to me? I am sorry about all you went through. God is not lying to you, but the devil is. How? God is not an author of confusion. I am not going to say God does not show people their spouses through dreams. It is just better not to seek for it that way. The Bible says, he that finds a wife finds a good thing. Meaning a man does the finding. When a man finds you, you can now take it to God and your pastor or anyone you feel can guide you in that regard. Many times when you are seeing a man in your dream, it is the spirit of delay. Many Christian ladies have been tied down by demonic forces this way. Satan just want to waste their time. Wow. I am not ruling out the fact that God can show you your husband in a dream, but we have to be careful as Christians. If such happens, before accepting or believing that the person is your spouse, pray and involve a trusted spiritual head. Some ladies are in their 40s waiting for a guy they got in their dream in their 20s. The guy is probably married with children. They end up blaming God for wasting their time. Do you think that is God's work? I don't think so. Even if your dreams are always 100% accurate, seeing a man in your dream does not necessarily mean it's for marriage. Can you please tell me how you met your husband? We met at the school cafeteria 19 years ago. There was a queue and he was behind me. We ended up sitting on the same table. We became friends and got married a year after graduation. You've been married for how long? 15 years. 
Wow. You see, the meeting does not have to be spectacular. You don't have to see a guy swimming towards you in the Atlantic Ocean or a man parting the Red Sea for you to cross. OMG. Just trust God to bring the right person to you or lead you to the right person. And looks can be deceitful. The person may not be the most handsome or rich, but he will possess everything you need. Note. Not everything you want but everything you need. Don't be obsessed about marriage. You are not to do the finding, the man should. Just trust God and keep doing his will. At the right time, he will make it happen. One last thing, don't despise anyone. Hmm. <laughs> don't despise anybody. Thank you so much for everything you said. I will wait on God and trust him.